Hello, my name is Eric Keller, and I am E&M's Sick Product Specialist covering the Pacific Northwest. Today I'd like to take a couple minutes and introduce you to a new safety product from Sick. Sick has recently released the Safe RS, which is a 3D zone protection radar-based safety unit. The Safe RS is comprised of a safety controller, which is general mounted in your cabinet, and up to six safety sensors. These safety sensors speak on CAN bus and can be daisy chained up to six sensors in a row. They are also IP67 rated and designed to handle some of the more extreme temperatures out there, so they're versatile for almost any application and maximizing machine uptime. By using multiple of these sensors, it allows you to cover what is traditionally very awkward or very hard to do with a single light curtain or safety scanner. This allows you to cover what is traditionally almost impossible without having a very large protection area. For example, with the use of multiple safety sensors, you can now protect all of the entry exit areas on a robotic work cell on one safety system, instead of having to use multiple light curtains or multiple safety scanners. Since these sensors are immune to any ambient light effects, they can be used in some of the harshest applications, such as uh, robot welding applications, where you may need to protect the robot from multiple angles, or you have sparks flying or welding slag that might fall on the sensor. Since there is no light that is sent or received, that is not a problem for the Safe RS. The Safe RS is also well suited for harsh environments such as a sawmill. In sawmills, there's sawdust everywhere, there's wood chips flying, and that does not affect the Safe RS since it is a radar based safety sensor. Some of the applications you might see this in a sawmill is to protect a wood lathe, for example. You can mount multiple of these at the base of the wood lathe, they get covered in sawdust and wood chips go everywhere, which would may affect a traditional light curtain application and require multiple light curtains uh, in a cascading effect to protect a wood lathe. Or these could be mounted per, to protect a chop saw, for example, since they throw a lot of wood chips everywhere and are usually covered in sawdust as well. Now let's talk about some of the features of the Safe RS. The Safe RS sensors are compact, they're small, they are radar based so they admit a 3D protection field. You get 100 degrees horizontal and 30 degrees vertical. All at a working range from 1 to 4 meters per sensor. Since these devices also speak on CAN bus, it allows you to daisy chain up to six of these sensors on one CAN bus cable. The controller is a DIN rail mounted unit that can be configured via USB and has provisions for power, CAN bus to your sensors, as well as a built-in safety dual channel relay. Speaking of USB, the Safe RS is configured via your laptop or remote network connection using the Safe RS Designer program, which is a free download from SICK. The great thing about this program is that it allows you to configure not only the controller, but up to the six sensors that are attached to the controller. You can adjust the field of view of each sensor, you can adjust the range of each sensor, as well as the muting functions of the controller and the output functions of the controller as well. One added benefit of the SafeRS Designer software is it allows you to upload an aerial image of your workspace. This aerial image can be used to plan out your safety application, where you want to place each sensor, the protective range and field of view of each sensor, and it all allows you to make sure you have full coverage of your application. This is great for planning ahead of time or doing field verification testing. I hope this introduction has given you new ideas for some of your safety applications, even in some of the harsher environments. If you would like to discuss more or see a demo of this unit, please feel free to reach out to your local SICK product specialist. Thanks and have a great day.